Take a look at this. Love this. These are protesters at Bear Stearns headquarters yesterday. They're not angry about the company's collapse or the fire sale price. They're angry that the government is helping Wall Street and not them. And of course, like any good politician, Barack Obama picked right up on that theme today and ran with it in a speech on the economy. If we can extend a hand to banks on Wall Street when they get into trouble, we can extend a hand to Americans who are struggling, often through no fault of their own. Trying to do that finger thing. Absolutely we can, Barack. In fact, why not extend the hand to everyone? Struggling, not struggling, Wall Street, Main Street, Cherry Street, Oak Street, whatever street, we'll just print more money. It's a feeding frenzy. These people are out of their mind. And now everybody is opening their mouths, sucking on the government teat. Obama even had the audacity of hopelessness to say this yesterday. George Bush called this the ownership society. But what he really meant was you're on your own society. <laughs> yeah, it's called capitalism, right? I mean, isn't that what our founding fathers kind of had in mind? Maybe if more people relied on it instead of the nanny state safety net of the government trough, then we wouldn't be in this situation to begin with. But maybe that's just me. Let's check in with another kook like me, Ben Stein. He's the uh, creator of a new movie called Expelled, No Intelligence Allowed, and co-author of Yes, You Can, Supercharge Your Portfo Portfolio, Ben. Clinton came out with her plan today, Obama came out with his plan today, and can you say socialism? Well, I don't think it's socialism. By the way, I, I just have to say, nah, your nah. imitations of the candidates are so funny. <laughs> you did an imitation uh, the other day of uh, Barack Obama saying, yes, we can. Yes, we And can. I must say, many times a day <laughs> when I'm stuck in an airport line or on an airplane that refuses to take off yeah. and I'm in a terrible mood, I think of you doing that. It's awfully, awfully funny. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're very, very funny. Thank you. I, I don't know if you realize how funny you are, but you're <laughs> well, really, really funny. I mean, please go on. Anyway, okay. So the... Uh, uh, the, the the idea of bailing out every homeowner is just out of the question. We don't have enough money to do it, and a lot of these homeowners, in fact, most of them are in trouble, got in trouble by making mistakes of buying homes they couldn't afford. That that shouldn't even be on the table, that a guy who's prudent and is hardworking and his family should be taxed to pay for people who are not prudent and well, got into trouble. How is this not socialism? How is this not nationalizing our debt, Ben? Well, our debt is already nationalized to a large extent, but I would, I would agree with you. We don't want to say, look, if you have any kind of trouble whatsoever, the government will bail you out. That just is a recipe for endless, hopeless, out-of-control inflation. But I think if these big Wall Street banks have, sh have shown, as they have, that they can't run their own affairs, I think some kind of supervision of them to make sure that they don't get into trouble and require a government bailout is very necessary. Okay, hang on. Here, let me show you the, uh, let me show you the talking points for Clinton. She said the Federal Housing Administration should stand ready to buy troubled mortgages if the auction plan is, in, is insufficient. She said greater protection for lenders from possible lawsuits by investors and also proposes $30 billion housing stimulus package. Obama said expand oversight to any institution that borrows from the government. Toughen capital requirements for complex financial institutions like mortgage security. Streamline regulatory agencies and, and overlap and compete uh, co competition from regulators. I love that one. And a $30 billion economic stimulus package well, for relief. Well, I'll tell you what. I think actually the part about regulatory oversight is right. If these investment banks have the ability to borrow now from Uncle Sam as they do, I think they should be supervised by Uncle Sam. If you and I are going to be paying our tax dollars to prop up investment Man, banks... Just you're, up, you're, you're accepting the premise of we should be giving them money. I, I don't I, want to give them wait, money. Ah, but, it, but that's already on the table. Uh, that's not going to change. We're, we're not going to change from doing that. That's, that's, you, you're not going to turn that clock back just like you're not going to turn back free trade. You, that's uh, that's already going to happen. So I'm moving to the Bahamas. I'm moving to the Bahamas. I know. No, you're not. no, no, it's not a threat. It's not like one of these, you know, crazy people who are like, I'm moving to Canada if they get elected. I'm moving to the Bahamas. When did when did we lose freedom? When did we lose capitalism? You know what? You know what Obama's little catchphrase was during the economy speech? 
Uh, it was shared prosperity. I understand that, and I, and I understand that totally. But the facts are what they are. The fact is the government is going to bail out Wall Street. The fact is the government is going to bail out a certain number of homeowners. I hope it's a very small number. I just want to see some supervision. If my money is going out there to bail out people who are making $70 million a year, I want very strict regulation of them. I, I do not want to bail out people who, well, the heads of Bear Stearns, the head guy made something like $40 million last year. If we're going to bail him and his pals, pals out, I'd like some regulation and some supervision well, of them in the future. Again, I don't think we should bail them out. But, but it's already it. done. I know that, but Ben, it's, if you buy into this principle, it's coming again. You know, well, maybe you it don't. Is gonna come again, Glenn, it yeah, is going to so come again, Glenn. It is going to come again. Yeah, so stop it now. It's not going to be stopped. That's just the way it is. It's not going to be stopped any more than Social Security for rich people is going to be stopped. I mean, look, why should we have Social Security for people who have unearned incomes of $5 million a year? and yet we do and they're not going to take it away as long as we have this kind of socialism let's have some supervision too holy cow all right ben thank you very much thank you god bless thank you man god bless